Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of How to Hack Ethical Series. We published many videos about the anonymity while we browse internet. Almost everything we do online is monitored. Regardless of who is tracking us, whether it's Google monitoring our email, website visits, and online searches, every action we do online is being logged, indexed, and subsequently mined for the profit of the tracking party. Hence hackers always avoid browsing internet directly. Instead they use Tor browser to hide their identity. This applies to the websites they host on the dark web as well. As we know dark websites uses Onion for their domain extension. They can be accessed through Tor browser. A Tor browser allows you to access the dark web, deep web, or hidden web. Can we build our own websites on the dark web utilizing Kali Linux systems, then? Clearly, the answer is yes. No port forwarding, no domain name expenditures. Our step-by-step -step guide can help you host your website or your full web application on the deep web with an Onion domain extension in just 5 minutes. For this tutorial, we are using Kali Linux system, but any Debian-based Linux distribution, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Parrot OS, or Elementary OS, will do. Let's begin and learn how to host our own Onion dark web in Kali Linux. Step 1. Installation. We first install and set up the Tor service on Kali Linux. We run the following command in our Kali Linux terminal, sudo apt get install Tor by. Step 2. Configure. Then we need to configure Tor R. C file located on etc Tor talk. Just open this file in any editor. I'm using mousepad here. sudo mousepad etc Tor talk. Then we need to find these two lines, highlighted on the above screenshot and remove hash from both line and save the file, and comment. Then change the port from 80 to 8080. After doing this this will look like following. Now we close this file after saving. Then we restart tor service by using following command sudo service tor restart. Step 4. Create an host website on localhost. Now we create a web page on our desktop called index, html or index.php. We do it by using following command, cd desktop and in touch index, html. Then we edit the web page file and code a simple website for demo. We open the html or php file in any other text editor. I'm using mousepad here again, mousepad index, html. Then we write a simple html code for an website like following. Here a site is created for demo, that's why it is so simple. We can host larger web applications. Then we save and close this file. This file is in our desktop, so we start a php-based localhost server in our desktop using following command. phps 127.0.0, 1 is to 8080. Now the development server of php will be start as we can see in the following screenshot. Now we check our hosted localhost website, by navigating 127.0.0. 1 is to 8080 from our browser. Here we had started local host server using PHP on 8080 port. We can also use port 80 if it is not already running, but it will require root permission, sudo phps 127.0.0.1.80. We can also use Python server or Apache server or any other localhost web server to host localhost website. Step 5. Connecting Tor service with our localhost. Then we leave this terminal window as it is, running localhost server. Now, open another terminal and type following command on new terminal, sudo u debian tor tor. Wait a little while, then let it configure to 100%. This will create a tor circuit, depending on the speed of our system and the internet, it might take a few minutes. The display is doing so. Our dark web is now hosted, all prepared. Hey, okay, where's the onion link again? The onion link is produced at random. We start a third terminal window because we can't close or utilize the other two terminals without losing connection in order to observe our hosted daemon dark websites onion. Please enter the command below to view our dark web address, sudo cat, var, lib, tor, hidden underscore service, host name. With the tor browser, we may now view this onion website from any location and on any device. Note that, this video serves as a demonstration for educational purposes only. However, we shouldn't take advantage of this to host websites that violate law. That will be criminal activity, and we are not accountable for it. That's all for today. Thanks for watching this video. 
we publish videos every week, so please subscribe and stay tuned.